Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you guys how I created this braid pattern for my crochet braids. I started out with freshly washed and blow dried hair. And as you probably saw in my thumbnail, I'm going to have some side braids with this style. So I'm going to do a slanted part and then section off the right part of my hair, head and put it away for later. From that side part, I'm going to take that part over to the opposite ear. Now I'm going to start on the foundation for my crochet braids. And because I want a versatile pattern where I can pull my hair in a ponytail, I'm going to do the perimeter of my hair as individual plaits. And the ends of those plaits will then be added into their adjacent cornrow. Alright, so now I'm starting on my second row. And as I mentioned earlier, as I braid, I'm going to pull the ends of the individual plaits into the uh, corn row so that um, it will allow me again to pull my hair in a ponytail without it being so obvious that I am wearing crochet braids. Now I'm going to hop over to the other side and right next to where I made my slanted part I'm going to create a row of individual plaits. All right, and now I'm going to make more individuals around the remaining perimeter. And for those four perimeter uh, individual plaits, I'm going to create four rows, and those four individual plaits will be added into those rows going straight back. Okay, I've made it to the last corn row, which is right next to that row of individuals that I made. And just as the others, I'm going to add each individual plait into the corn row as I braid. Alright, let's get started on the back. So I'm going to be doing two rows of individual plaits at the nape of my head. Now as I'm doing my second row, I am adding the ends of the individual braid that's below it. So I'm braiding and I'm pulling the individual end below it and I'm adding it into the second row of braids. And when all done with those two rows, this is what it should look like. Now I'm going to use the parts I made in the front as a guide and continue those rows towards the back. All right, so I want all these braids to be connected. So I'm going to take the ones from the front and go ahead and continue to braid those down. And as I'm braiding, I am pulling any loose ends into my cornrow. Now I'm going to grab my crochet needle and I'm going to insert it through the braid that I just made. And I'm going to grab the end of the individual plaits that I created at the nape. And I'm going to pull it through that braid so that whenever I braid the next section, it can be included in that cornrow. Okay, so now that I'm done with that second cornrow, again, I'm taking my crochet needle, but this time I'm pulling the end of the first cornrow that I made. I'm pulling that through to be included in the next row. And I'm also going to pull the second end of the individual plaits that I made. I'm going to pull that up and through so that it can also be included in the next corn row. And then I'm going to follow that same concept on the other side until I get to the point to where I only have one more corn row to braid. Then I will be able to pull the ends from both sides and include it in that one corn row so that I only end up with one um, loose end. Get 
get to the bottom of that corn roll, I will tie it off with a rubber band creating a ponytail. Then I will split that ponytail in half and then plait each side of it. And once I plait each side, I will thread each side through um, my corn rolls with the crochet needle. And once all done, you have a very versatile crochet pattern. The hair that I'm using is the Tiana Passion Twist in the color 1B27. They were sent to me by Toyo Tress Hair Company. The package included one crochet needle. It included rubber bands and some hair accessories. And then that one big bag included seven individual packs of hair that had 11 strands per pack. And this is what the hair looks like outside of the bag. The hair is very soft to touch and I really like the color. Um, and I like that it's not too long. So I'm going to start by installing the twist at the nape and notice I am pointing the needle up. That is because I want to be able to pull my hair up in a ponytail. And when installing crochet braids, it is very important to insert the needle in the direction that you want the hair to fall. That will allow a more versatile and realistic look because it will hide the knots and put the knots on the opposite side of the part of your hair that's actually showing. So this is a very important step to remember whenever you're inserting um, hair around your perimeter. Now that I'm done with the perimeter in the back, I'm going to go ahead and start focusing on the middle section and then work my way towards the front. For the cornrows at the front of my hair, I'm going to insert the needle pointing towards my left ear. That is because I plan to have all of my twist swept over to the left side. And then on the right side, I'm going to install a few little cute um, braids for a more edgy look. And for a secure hold on my side braids, I'm going to use some edge control and apply it to my roots and then begin braiding. Now I'm going to take this free tress water wave hair and I'm going to crochet it through the side braid that I just made. And I'm going to insert the needle and I'm, only, I'm going to only pull one end through. And then I'm going to create my own passion twist using that hair. And lastly, I'm going to set my side braids and edges with some mousse. And then I will be back to show you guys the finished look. So as you can probably tell by the smile on my face, I really, really, really like these uh, passion twists. I have been wanting to try passion twists for a while, but I did not want to take the time to do the individuals. So I am so glad that Toyo Tress reached out and were willing to send me these crochet braids, which cut the install time down significantly. I can pull my hair up in a ponytail and it look very um, realistic. And um, look, I'm doing my little happy dance, y'all. I'm so happy right now with this hair. 
Um, I will leave details of um, the hair down below in the description box. I will also leave links to Tell Your Trist Hair Company's um, website, their Instagram, and other information related to this product. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys soon.